My name is Uduak Akwan, and you can also call me Buff. Uh, today, quickly, I want us to look at what I call staying put. Staying put. Um, it's actually, I want to believe, it's the last, um, the last process, the last thing you need to be able to come out the way God wants to actually present you to the world, to your generation, and to your environment. You know, there are usually the urge to move out prematurely prematurely you know in our endeavors in life in some things we are believing God for or in what we believe should have been manifested in our lives or in in, in what we are believing that we should have done but the, the, imagine the caterpillar the story of the caterpillar you know turning to a butterfly imagine if it does not wait to complete the process in, Imagine yourself in this particular um, scenario, in what you are particularly going through right now. Imagine if you don't wait for the process. God wants to show you forth to the world. God wants to, he wants to tell the world that this is a finished product. This is something I made myself, that the world cannot wait to see its manifestation. But the point is, even when the world cannot wait to see its manifestation, we ourselves are actually struggling to hold on to complete the process and come out and become that which God wants us to be. There are some people that are supposed to be flying, but currently are still crawling because they cannot wait for the process. There are some people that are supposed to be, you know, moving with the speed of an angel. That's faster than speed of light. But because we do not wait to complete the process, we are actually not doing anything. Some people's lives are practically, you know, what you can call, what you can call it, they want to record the case, maybe a dead case. But the point is that there's still hope. Because if your your hope and your eyes and your faith are on God, then God can actually bring you out of that particular situation that you might be in your life. You know, that cocoon that you need to go through the process and come out well. God said um, in Job chapter 1 verse 8, he told Satan, he said, have you considered my servant Job? It means that God is, you know, is proud of who Job had become. God said concerning David, he said, I found a man after my own heart. It means the word found means that God actually searched all through the earth and discovered that David was the best qualified to be the king. However, God did not just put David on the throne. God made David go through the process of training. Imagine David in, 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 the, in the cave of Adullam. You know, before he went to the cave of Adullam, he went saw, discovered that David was going to be the next king and it was too obvious he was going to be the next after killing Goliath. You know, he wanted to kill him so that Jonathan can take over from him. What did he do? He tried, he tried, he did everything to stop David. David ran for his dead life and went to the Philistines. Imagine somebody running, you know, to his enemy's arm and they looked at him and said, are you sure this is not the same man that killed Goliath? But what did he do? He pretended to be a madman. That saliva was even dripping even from his mouth to his cheek and, and, and just so that he would be able to escape that particular situation. So as soon as he left the Philistines, he went to the cave of Adullam where there was nobody. And David came to the end of himself. And that was when his eyes were opened to God. And God trained him. And God said, recorded in that particular scripture that, the vagabonds, the 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 the, 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 the discarded, the, the, the damaged, you know, the dampened, everybody came to meet David and David became a ruler over them. And from there, God trained David. And after David completed the process, at the right time, appointed time, David became the next king of Israel. And for, for, for record till tomorrow, David was is still the best king that Israel ever had. That's because he completed the process. The same thing God wants to do in our lives. Some of us are actually uh, at, at the point where we cannot even imagine that God can actually make, you know, use, good use of their life. And that is why you see that your mind must be actively working. The time of waiting is not the time to be silent, to be idle. But the time to be actually, you know, for, for your mind to be on God, for your mind to be 
active for your spirit to listen to what God, what line of action God wants you to do next, even in the place of waiting. The fact that God said wait for him doesn't mean that God will not give you instructions that will keep you at that particular stage you are until the finished product that you are, you know, to before God will now show you thoughts, even to the world. God always wants to, you know, boast about us, but only those that will follow through faith and patience can only inherit the promise. Look at First Peter chapter 1, verse 7. Look at what it says. It says that the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perished. Though it be tried with fire, might be found to be to praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. So meaning that what God, if what God wants to produce, imagine gold going through fire. By the time one is going through the fire, it's not a pleasant period. But the point is, everybody must go through it. For you to get the best of gold, they must go through fire, and that's when you begin to remove the impurities. So this trying period, this time that it looks as if there's nothing happening in your life, is actually a time God wants to remove that which you do not need for the next phase of your life, that which you do not need for the next phase of where God is taking you to. However, for every level we get to in life, there's always a period God wants to teach you something for the next phase of life. Except you are the type that you want to get a particular point in your life and you think that's your peak and that kind of person will not be able to work with God. God wants to work with people that will always look up to him for every, for the next phase of their lives. And that's why you see that in their growth, they keep going up, up until, you know, God says, okay, now you are faithful servant, come back home. And that is one thing that a lot of us needs to actually pay attention to. However, there's only one thing that will keep you in this place. Of waiting and that's of perseverance perseverance there's something i believe in god for and i've had different ideas have come into my spirit come into my mind why don't you do this this will aid the process did this will hasten the process but i've learned and i've made so much mistakes in my life that i cannot take any move without being sure that God is the one that is actually leading me in that direction. Without that, I will come back to square one and I will have to start all over again. But the point is that when God is saying that take a move, everything God is saying consistent in your life will always be consistent, you know, with the word of God. And so and you, you must be able to pick out God's, you know, speak to you. That's why you see that you must accept your role. You know, as human being, as a sub-creator, God is a creator, but God has made us sub-creators. Let me give an example. I always like, love pointing to the fact that Edison came up with the idea of life. The Wright brothers came up with the ideas of, you know, flying to them. And that's why we can always fly. So the Wright brothers accepted themselves as a sub-creator and they went through the process and that's why they came up with the refined product, which we now call, you know, planes. The same thing with Edison. Edison went through the process, came out with the right product we call light. So he created that. So there are so many things that God wants to create through you. And God loves you so much and God wants you to succeed. And God knows in the place of your becoming a sub-creator or accepting yourself as a sub-creator that is when you will be able you know to fulfill everything you ever desire like in our last video we talked about the fact that everything family you know money fame finance everything you need is embedded in the in, in obedience you know to what god wants you to do and that what god wants you to do so you must be able to see yourself as a sub-creator, when you accept yourself as a sub-creator, then your mind will begin to be active. Then you will not depend on, the, on, on God, because knowing that is not something, the wisdom is not something you can readily, you know, put down the paper without you receiving it anyway. And so God is always releasing wisdom, vision, you know, um, innovations. And so it depends on those that can actually pick those things that are readily available in the air. A lot of us have missed out in these things and you discover that something you were thinking about some years ago, you discover that somebody else is actually talking about it. That's because God is always releasing, you know, wisdom in the air, counsel in the air, innovations in the air, but it now depends on those that pick. For example, now musicians sing worship songs, good, good songs, but the point is, for those that can release, that can accept, you know, their place, listen to God, will always re receive that song at a particular time. That's why you see that whoever receives and act on it on time. That's why it's good that as soon as the Holy Spirit drops some things in your spirit, check the timing and 
go for it and do it very fast. Not because you don't, we are scared of somebody else, you know. I'm taking over the ideas or something like that or hiding your concept of ideas. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that when the Holy Spirit drops on faith in your spirit, for you to be able to receive more from Him, then you should always act on it fast. So like I said, perseverance is what will actually keep you in this place of waiting. How do you get perseverance? You need to be closer to the Word. When you get closer to the Word, the Word will increase your faith because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. As long as the Word strengthens your faith, then the Prince of trust will come. Then when there is trust, even when it looks as if God is actually silent on a particular issue or on your timing and it looks as if your state is currently dead, what will keep you hoping on God is your perseverance. Um, Hebrews chapter 10, I'll quickly read 35 and, and 36. Hebrews chapter 10, 35 and 36. 35 says, cast not away therefore your confidence. The confidence you need where it looks as if God is not saying anything. The confidence you have in God that God will come through even when it looks as if your, your current situation is dead. So he said, cast not, cast not away therefore your confidence which add great recompense of reward for you have need of patience and that after you have done the will of God you might receive the promise. The promise in the promise is embedded the beauty that you can ever imagine in life and god knows better than you so god will always give you you know that which if the end product that you really even beyond what you can readily desire and that's what god will always give to you look at 36 he said for you have need of patience that after you have done the will of god you might receive the promise so let's not cast away our confidence you know when you persevere in the place of waiting you discover that even when it looks as if the fig tree does not blossom you will discover that your mind will continuously rest on god and the moment your mind rests on god when every anxiety ceases that is when you discover that god now begins to move on your behalf he has always been moving but because we are too busy trying to sort ourselves out that's why we do not see his hand is moving our lives but the moment we settle down and come to the end of ourselves then we'll see him move on our behalf the confidence will come don't forget that every time you receive answers to your prayers your faith is strengthened because you know that god will that that done this will do whatever you are believing him for the next time god bless you real good my name is uduak akman and you can always call me both. If this has blessed you and this is your first time on Speaking Peace channel, I want to say hands on the hair. Please do not forget to subscribe and don't also forget to share this video. This video can help somebody uh, remain in God. And when you remain in God, your faith remains in God, then God will forever you know, show his faithfulness in your life. I pray for you today that your life will speak of God's faithfulness. I, I speak to you today that when people look at you, they will see God's favor. When people look at you, they will see God's manifest presence in your life. Because what? Because your eyes and heart are on Him. God bless you real good. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you so much for being